Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got another big episode here where I'm gonna be covering a bunch of new and upcoming 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray TV series. I'm gonna dive into, share all my testing data and reviews for all of these huge movies and TV series that are coming out and our new releases. And we're gonna be covering this massive stack of releases. And we've got a ton of exciting stuff to dive into today. Now, it's always very important. If you decide you're gonna buy or add any of these releases I've tested and reviewed in this video, make sure to always go down and use those direct Amazon sailings I posted as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra when you click on them, but they are extremely important to the creation of these videos. The only way I can always spend all this time, just like this video, took me over a week and a half to test, analyze, and review all of the releases in this video. I pulled all the native data off of each of them and compared them side by side to let you know which one is the best release and which one is the one you should buy and add to your collection. So that's why it's always very important. If you're gonna buy or add any of these to your collection, always go down and use those direct Amazon sailings right down there below. Now to start off with, we're gonna be covering the King Kong 1976 limited edition steelbook release from Paramount. Now in this video, I'm gonna be comparing this 4K release to the Shout Factory 2021 Blu-ray release that you see up above. And then later on, I'm actually gonna be doing an image comparison as well against the Studio Canal 4K release to show you what this actually looks like in comparison to all the previous Blu-ray and 4K releases to let you know which version comes out the winner and which one is the one that is the ultimate way to own and to watch of King Kong from 1976. Now I can tell you this is a native 4K 2160p and it was created from a new 4K restoration of the original camera negative. And this new limited edition steelbook set does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. Now I will answer the million dollar question here, is this being released in a standard case? The answer to that is no. Paramount is only releasing this in a limited edition steelbook set as I'm holding right here in my hand. So if you're waiting for it to be released in a standard case, it's not coming. They said it's only limited edition as of right now. This is all that's being planned. Now, when I went through my comparison side by side, as you're noticing above in comparison to my previous 2021 Shout Factory Blu-ray, the image quality on this is dramatically improved. Depth, detail, overall destroys the previous Blu-ray in every area. And I can tell you when I compared the Dolby Vision versus the HDR10, the Dolby Vision was roughly 10% better looking than the HDR10 color-wise. It does have a much better color tone, and overall I did enjoy the Dolby Vision just slightly better than I did on the HDR10, but both are still massive improvements over the previous Blu-ray release in every area. This does have nice layer of filmic film grain from beginning to end. It's very stable. I really didn't encounter very many fluctuations. They were very, very minute. Otherwise, overall, it's a very filmic and nice transfer that, as I said, there's no comparison to the previous 2021 Blu-ray release from Shout Factory. It completely blows that one out of the water. Audio quality wise, it was much more clean, clear sounding on this than the previous Blu-ray from Shout Factory as well. So in those cases, this was a nice appreciable upgrade over that previous Blu-ray. Now, switching gears here for a minute, I'm gonna show you the Studio Canal 4K release up above. Now, this is why what I do is extremely important and unique, because I pull the native data from the 4K disc and show them side by side, just like what I do with the Blu-rays. What you've probably noticed right off of the bat with your own eyes, just like I did, is the drastic difference in color grading between the Studio Canal release on 4K and this new Paramount restoration. Now I did talk about that Paramount did some additional work on their own, which is why this does look different, especially color grading wise, than what you get on the Studio Canal version. And this is one thing that's very important to understand. The reason why I don't just share my opinions, why everything that I do is backed up by data and facts and image comparisons, is so that way you get an accurate representation instead of just somebody's random opinion of, hey, I kind of think it looks better, I kind of don't. This is all backed by data and facts, so you know which one of these is truly the ultimate version of King Kong, just like I've done hundreds of times here on this channel. If you haven't checked out my previous 4K versus 4K image comparison video, 
I compare 4Ks versus 4Ks in that video series to show you which ones come out the winner. This is another example of this. In the comparison between these, as you're noticing those images up above, Studio Canals has an incorrect yellowed out color grading that is gone on this new 4K release. It has got whites on it that are intentionally supposed to be white, whereas on the Studio Canal version, they were yellowed out. And I'm not trying to be gross here, but it kind of reminded me of just kind of the film having a slight layer of like pee all over it, just yellow all over it all of the time. And it's very heavily noticeable. And when you put them side by side, that is where you notice the stark differences. From beginning to end, the color grading on this is so far superior to the Studio Canal that I really can never go back and watch that Studio Canal version ever again because of how much better this looked overall depth and detail. They both have very nice depth and detail in them, but there was another big noticeable difference. This has much more stable layer of film grain from beginning to end without the large fluctuations and instabilities in the film grain that I encountered on the Studio Canal version. So when I watched them overall, not only does this have a much better and much more natural and pleasing color grading than the yellowed out and severely just to me, it's ugly when you compare them side by side. I didn't realize how really yellowed out Studio Canal's version really was until I got this new 4K and sat down and started going side by side. And then it really opens your eyes and you're like, wow, it really was a bad color grading that Studio Canal did. And I'll be honest with you, this is not the first time this has happened from Studio Canal. I mean, now this is about the 10th 4K I've gotten that Studio Canal has either added a teal overlay or a yellowed overlay to their films that I really just don't understand what they're doing because I've been very disappointed to be honest with you. I'm having a really hard time buying Studio Canal's restorations or 4K releases at all going forward because it seems like with a lot of them, just like with King Kong recently here, they do incorrect color gradings by either adding a teal overlay over it or adding a yellowish overlay over it, which is not the way it's supposed to look because when you saw the original comparisons between the Shout Factory 2021 Blu-ray that had a similar color grading to this, though this does look way better than even that did, but this doesn't have the yellowish overlay, just that's to me just gross looking when you actually watch it and you realize that whites are just yellow, skies yellow, grays are yellow, everything's yellow on the Studio Canal version. That is not the way it is on this, and by far, this is the superior way to view this film color grading and image quality. Now, audio quality wise, this does get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. It's very clean, clear, has good range, and it is very enjoyable. Now, between the Studio Canal version, I really didn't notice much difference. They really sounded very similar. So in that sense, audio quality wise, you're getting about the same thing. Both are very nice, clean and clear audio mixes that I enjoyed both of them the same. Now, Studio Canal, I did dive into and test out the rough average bitrate. On my Studio Canal 4K, it had a rough average bitrate of 75 megabits per second. On the new King Kong limited edition 4K released by Paramount, this had a high, healthy, and strong rough average bitrate of 79 megabits per second. So that gives Paramount's 4K release a four megabits per second advantage over Studio Canal. So not only do you get a better image, more stable film grain, better looking film grain, and also a way better color and image, you also get a higher rough average bitrate on this limited edition set. Now, I will touch on the special features here. This is one area where Studio Canal did win. Studio Canal does have better special features on their 4K release than what you get on this set. There's no special features on the 4K disc on this set, but you get special features on Studio Canal's release that are not included on this 4K release. So if you previously owned Studio Canal's 4K release and you wanna keep it for the special features wise, that's an option. But it's up to you as far as if you think you're gonna keep your Studio Canal release, if you're not gonna watch it ever again because you dislike the yellowed out, just really bad yellow color grading, then this is the way to go. So Paramount's 4K release easily beats out Studio Canal's image quality wise in every area of that. The only thing it wins on Studio Canal's is special features. Now, show what you get in this. You do get this really nice outside slip cover. It's clear, it comes off. It has secondary artwork on the steelbook behind it, but the slip cover is really cool because it's clear and see-through and it has King Kong on it. Then on the side here, it does say King Kong. And then on the back, it has an alternate picture of it of King Kong on here. Then when you get inside here, it has really cool inside artwork. 
Here's your 4K disc, I tested it, it's 100% region free, and this is your Blu-ray. Now, getting to my review score for King Kong by Paramount on this limited edition Steelbook release, this gets a terrific 9.1. It's a must buy, you need to buy and have in your collection. I actually really enjoy this 1976 film, and that's why I wanted to make sure to provide you the complete guide of King Kong to let you know which version between the Blu-ray and Studio Canal's previous 4K comes out as the winner. This is the clear winner and the only way you should view going forward King Kong. By far, this 4K release destroyed image quality wise all previous home video releases and you will notice the drastic difference and shift from the previous 4K and color grading that it's such a dramatic shift you'll sit back and say, wow, I can't believe how poor Studio Canal did with that color grading and that's why going forward I'm gonna have a hard time buying Studio Canal's 4Ks because like I said, this is about the 10th time now here in the last couple of years I bought 4Ks from Studio Canal to later have another studio release it that does a better job without those teal or yellowish overlays they do on them. Which to be honest with you, Studio Canal, when you're watching this, you gotta stop doing that. You're ruining releases yourself simply by putting those teal and brownish yellowish overlays you do on them. It really is just ruining the restoration. I know you think it makes it look more modern, but it doesn't. When compared to when a studio releases a better version without that overlay on it and people notice it, it makes your version look very poor. Now, if you want another recommendation of another really good creature feature, basically 4K release that's available right now, you'll want to check out my Jaws 2 4K release. That's a very enjoyable 4K release. I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison on that to let you know what the quality of that 4K release is. But that's another one that you want to check out. I enjoy that just like I enjoy King Kong. And it is one of those that kind of goes in my creature feature collection. And that's one of those you'll definitely want to check out here on this channel. Now, if you decide you're going to buy and add this to your collection, always go down and use that direct Amazon sale link I posted right down there below. I wanted to provide this special video to all of you today so that way I could answer the question that I've been asked hundreds of times, which one of these is truly the best version to own? Now you know this is the best image quality wise to experience. And that's why all these videos I create are so exclusive because I spent all this time, just like the last week and a half, pulling all the data for all of these in this video so that way I can provide this comprehensive guide for all of you. So make sure to go down there and support this video. Now if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there and give this video a like for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of these exclusive videos that I release here on my channel and that way you're always notified right away when I release any of this content for you to watch. So make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Next up we have the 1977 film Rolling Thunder. Now this was sent to me about two and a half weeks early for review from Shout Factory and I do appreciate them reaching out to me and sending this to me early for review. But as always, just because something's sent to me early for review, it never changes or affects my testing data or my review score. Now this is one of those films that's kind of more of those thriller, kind of revenge thrillers from the 70s. It's gathered more of a cult following over the years. But there's something important to understand about the film itself. On previous home video releases, it's always had a rough history on home video. It's extremely important to understand that going into this. It has never looked pristine. It's never looked amazing. It's always just looked okay. It's got numerous scenes throughout it, just like on the previous Blu-ray that you're noticing up above, that were black crush, very dark, very hard to see. And on this new 4K transfer, it does still retain some of that. It does look better. You can see more in those dark scenes. Not as heavily black crushed as, for example, the previous Blu-ray release, but it's still difficult to see in a lot of the darker scenes that is still retained on this 4K release. Now, I can tell you this is a native 4K 2160p, and it was created from a brand new 4K scan of the original 35mm camera negative. And it does have a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master, which is where you'll notice the massive improvement in healthy skin tones, colors, overall the life that is present on this 4K transfer is drastically improved over the previous Blu-ray release in every area of the image. This does have a nice natural layer of film grain, though it's not too stable. You'll notice sometimes it's heavier, sometimes it's lighter. It does have inconsistencies and fluctuations throughout it. Again, those were present on the previous Blu-ray release. 
It's just, it seems like no matter how many times they scan it, because the original film itself is so heavily just damaged and has so many inconsistencies, they carried those over and they are present a lot of them on this 4K release. Though with that new Dolby Vision HDR10 Master, it does alleviate some of the darkness more. You can see more in those dark scenes than you ever could on the previous Blu-ray release. Now this is being released in Shout Select's line. This is number 159. I can tell you with this, the image does have a more cleaned up image than the previous Blu-ray in several areas. There's a lot less blots, speckles, and splotches throughout this. You will still notice some blots and speckles that do appear throughout this film, but they are nowhere near as heavy as the previous Blu-ray release. It does have a lot of those that have been cleaned up, so that is an improvement on this as well. Now, talking about the audio. On the previous Blu-ray release, the audio was extremely soft and quiet. It would have some loud, slightly loud scenes, but literally I had to turn that up quite a few notches louder. That same audio mix is present on this. I really couldn't tell anything different. I still had to turn it up roughly eight notches louder than I normally listen to anything at, and that's a lot for me to turn it up. I don't mess with my testing environment the same way I test everything, always starts at the exact same level that I listen to everything at, and then I determine do I have to turn it up louder or lower on every single 4K I test and review. In this case, I had to turn it up a full eight notches louder on my high-end home theater system that I've reviewed here on this channel before. If you haven't checked out that video, it's available right now on this channel. I have a reference quality home theater system. I actually have several different theater setups, but that's the one I primarily use to test on. And this one I did have to turn up quite a bit louder. Dialogue is very soft and hard to hear at times. You literally have to strain sometimes and constantly turn it way up loud. And then there'll be like a loud sound. You'll turn it back down. So it's a very inconsistent audio mix, but it was the same inconsistent audio mix that was present on the previous Blu-ray, which is an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mix. And that 2.0 mix is just not great. This film really could have used a new audio mix, a 5.1, a Dolby Atmos, to really help improve the audio on this because it's just a very soft and in my opinion, a poorer sounding audio mix, which lends to why overall, it's one of those films I enjoy, but it's hard to watch over and over again numerous times where I feel like honestly, I'm sitting there up and down with the remote constantly. And because there's tons of scenes throughout it, which have numerous scenes of Black Crush, this looks better, you can see more, but it's still one of those scenes you kind of squint sometimes to see things. So because all those are in the original film and that's kind of where this is coming from because it's a new 4K scan of the original camera negative, it carries those over and that's just the way it's always going to be. This is the best way to watch it. It's not that Shout Factory didn't do the scan right, they did. Now talking about another positive for this release, you do get four brand new bonus and special features, audio commentaries, talking about the film. So you do get a bunch of bonus features that were not included in the previous Blu-ray, but they carried over all of the previous bonus features and included them in this, plus the new bonus features. And on the Blu-ray disc included in the set, it includes that brand new transfer. So the Blu-ray disc does have a better looking image than what you had on the previous Blu-ray release as well. So overall, they gave us the most that they possibly could image quality wise and put it onto the Blu-ray and the 4K disc in this set. Now show what you get in this. When this comes out here in a couple of weeks, it does not come with a slip cover. It does say number 159 on it, talks about it on here, talks about all the special features, which are all of those, plus the four new special features they included in here. Now inside here, I did test the Blu-ray disc. It is region A locked. 4K disc is 100% region free. So if you're wanting to buy this or import this outside of the US, that direct Amazon sale link I posted down below ships anywhere worldwide. Now I did dive into the rough average bitrate for all of you. It has a healthy and strong 76 megabits per second. They did a very good job with the rough average bitrate as well, not over compressing it. It's just because of the inherent issues with the film itself, all of that just kind of cobbles together that even with a new scan, it still brings all those inherent issues present in this 4K release. Now getting to my review score, for Rolling Thunder on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an enjoyable 8.1. So it is one of those you have to decide how big of a fan are you of the film? Is this one of those that you love the film, you want the most upgrade and the best quality you can get? Then this is the 4K release you're going to want to get. I don't see us ever getting anything better than this or actually getting this film ever released again on 4K by anyone else. And this is the best quality and the best way to experience it that's ever been released on home video. And because of that, like I said, this is the best I ever see us getting. I don't see anyone ever touching this film again. 
So 8.1 is the review score for this. It's enjoyable. You just have to decide how big of a fan are you of this film? And is this one of those you want to make sure to add to your collection? Me, I'm a collector and I enjoy having every film I can get in the best quality on 4K. I like to collect those and have those in my collection. So for me, this is one of those cool ones to have in my collection because even though it's slight upgrades, it's still nice that it was released on 4K so that I can say, hey, I got this film, it's on 4K and now I own it. Now, if you want a recommendation of another great 70s thriller that you really need to check out on 4K, you'll want to check out my Duel review. That's the Steven Spielberg Duel from the 70s. That's a very good and slick thriller. If you have not checked out that review, it's available right now on 4K. That's a very enjoyable 70s film that I was really impressed with the 4K quality. I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison on that, and that video is available right now if you wanna check that out. Now, make sure to go down and start the conversation in the comment section below. Let me know, are you gonna be buying and adding Rolling Thunder to your collection? Are you excited for my King Kong Blu-ray and 4K versus 4K comparison? Are you excited to buy the new King Kong limited edition set? Let me know in the comment section right down below what of these you're gonna click down there and buy and add to your collection. I always love to hear from all of you. It also helps the studios see, like I explained before, what of these you're excited for and what of these you're buying and gonna to add to your collection so that they know what of these films are really exciting and popular and what of these that each of you really enjoy. Next up, we have Colt 45. Now this is one of those very unique complete Blu-ray TV series sets. It was meticulously restored from brand new 4K scans of the original camera negatives. And that's for all 67 episodes of the entire three season series on Blu-ray. The 4K scans in these are a revelation. I was shocked at the quality we got of this on Blu-ray. It is literally one of those you sit down and you kind of just sit there in awe with your eyes saying, I can't believe how much work they put into a Western TV series on Blu-ray. This is one of the nicest Blu-ray releases I've seen Warner Archive release and is a very impressive release. The show itself is very similar to Have Gun Will Travel, if you've ever checked out that Western series. It's basically the story of Colt Preston, who actually goes town to town and little missions for the military, basically finding gangs or drugs or cattle thieves. And every episode, they're very short and self-contained, about 25 minutes an episode, so they move pretty fast. Very action-packed, a lot of them, very good stories, and I very much enjoy this as a Western series. I actually enjoy this more than Have Gun Will Travel, and I absolutely love Have Gun Will Travel. But I was so impressed with the audio quality on this and the restoration work they did for this that it's a shocking release that I did not think we would ever get because the series has been lost. There hasn't been any releases previously for many years because they lost the original film elements and couldn't locate them until just now. And that's why they did this meticulous restoration because they were able to locate all of the original film elements for all 67 episodes. The series ran from 1957 to 1960 for three full seasons. The runtime in this box set is 1,878 minutes. So you get a ton of content in this box set. It comes in this big box set where it does say Colt 45 on the side. I will tell you it comes in three individual Blu-ray disc sets. So actually each season you pull out one case and that way you get them all separately instead of in one box. I'll show you what you get in one of the cases. They all match other than saying the type of the season it is on it. On the side it says Colt 45 on the back it lists off every episode including the original air date. So that way you get the episode titles on here as well. Now when you get inside here they are on leaflets. They didn't have any loose discs so they do click in very good on here. Every one of them has a different disc on it telling you which disc it is and what episodes. I can tell you I tested every one of the discs in here in this complete set and I can tell you every one of the Blu-ray discs in here are 100% region free. So you won't have any issues playing these anywhere worldwide. So if you are wanting to buy this or import this, make sure to use that direct Amazon sale link right down there below. Now, audio quality wise, you do get a brand new DTS HD Master Audio 2.0. It's very clean and clear sounding. It's very surprising that a lot of the hisses, clicks and things that you would expect from this time period, they're gone. They're not present on this at all. They did an amazing restoration for the audio as well as the absolutely pristine looking and beautiful 4K restoration they did on the Blu-ray image that's included in here. 
I was extremely shocked. It's one of the best looking Blu-ray TV series sets I've seen for a black and white show. Now getting to my review score for Colt 45 on Blu-ray, this gets an excellent 9.4. It's a must buy. You need to buy and have in your collection. Show your support for this release. It's a very enjoyable action adventure Western TV series from the 50s. Now as always, Blu-ray TV sets are always compared to Blu-ray TV sets. So I'm comparing this image quality wise and sound quality to all the previous Blu-ray TV series I've tested and reviewed. If you want to check out any of them on this channel, I've done tons of them. MacGyver's available right now if you haven't checked out that series. That was a very enjoyable Blu-ray TV series that I was glad that was released on Blu-ray. That I was amazed at the quality and work they put behind this release that I was so thrilled to have this in my collection. But I will tell you the restoration work that they did on this will shock and surprise you. Don't miss out on this. This gets a 9.4, an excellent release, and is a must buy you need to have in your collection. Next up, we have Gomer Pyle USMC, the complete remastered TV series on Blu-ray for the first time ever worldwide. This series ran from 1964 to 1969 for a total of five seasons. The complete runtime in this box set is 3,786 minutes. It's a massive box set, and it's got all five individual Blu-ray sets for each season contained separately in this box set. I can tell you the entire 150 episodes in this box set were remastered for Blu-ray. They do look very good. I will tell you they retain the natural film grain. You can see that it does have fluctuations and instabilities throughout it. But overall, compared to the previous home video releases, this annihilates all of the DVDs that were released before. Every area, audio quality wise and visual quality wise, you'll be shocked at how nice these look in comparison to all of those previous DVDs. It really makes the DVDs look absolutely horrible when you see them side by side. Now, this does have an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 audio mix on it. I can tell you it still has some slight hisses and clicks throughout it. Due to the time period when this series came out, they did work on the audio, but they didn't completely get rid of all of the hisses and clicks. Now, it does sound miles better than any of the previous home video releases on DVD. All of those were very poor sounding and quiet. This is very clear sounding. It's just got issues with not being as clean as I would have hoped for. Some of those hisses and clicks, they could have cleaned up a little bit more, but for the period and the release of what we're getting out of this, especially price point wise, it's still a very enjoyable and very good release and still a huge upgrade over all of the previous DVD releases. Now in this box set, it does include three special features. You get basically commercial presentations, you get the previous pilot episode, and you also get an audio commentary included in this set. Now show what you get in this. This is one of the seasons in here. Each one has individual cover artwork on it. Inside you do get your Blu-ray disc. It does list off each of the episodes contained on each of the Blu-ray discs. I did test each of the Blu-rays in this complete series set and I can tell you all of them are 100% region A locked. Now Gomer Pyle's one of those kind of comedy slapstick humor 60s comedy series that followed up Andy Griffith. Now I did previously review the complete series Andy Griffith Blu-ray TV series set. That's available right now on this channel as well. If you're wanting to check that out, that goes before this series. This is basically the follow-up series, spin-off series, with basically Gomer Pyle's character from Andy Griffith. I will tell you I enjoy having both of them now, going from Andy Griffith into Gomer Pyle, and I do think they complement each other well. Though Gomer Pyle is a little bit more out there with a little bit more slapstick humor, but it's still a very funny and very enjoyable series from the 60s that I still enjoy watching to this day. Now getting to my review score for Gomer Pyle in this complete remastered Blu-ray TV series set, this gets a very good 9.1. It's a must buy, you'll wanna buy and have in your collection. Paramount did a very nice job on this release and I do suggest supporting this so that we see more of these releases coming out over the years. It seems like we're getting less and less of these complete series. They slowed down because it seems like not as many people are buying and supporting these that I'm seeing we need to support these if we want more of them. If you want to see more of these complete TV series sets coming out, don't make an excuse for not supporting this. Don't say, well, I'm waiting for a sale because guess what? When the studios don't see the support and people wait for them to go on clearance, the studios say it's not worth putting our time and money into remastering these massive Blu-ray complete series sets. Now, it's very important. If you decide you're going to buy and add Gomer Pyle to your collection or any of these 4Ks or Blu-rays I've reviewed in this video, Always make sure to go down to the direct Amazon sale links I posted right down there below 
and order your copies down there. Those are very important to the creation of all of these videos. As I always explain, the only way I can always do this is with you, my viewers and subscribers support through using those direct Amazon sale links down there below and joining my Collectors VIP Club. That Collectors VIP Club is extremely important, just like those links down there are. That's the only way I can spend all this time analyzing, testing all these discs, and providing all of these accurate comparisons to all of you. I do want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you every single one of you that have clicked on those links down there and joined my Collectors VIP Club. I truly do appreciate every single one of your support. It really matters to me. And I know I say from the bottom of my heart in these videos, but it really does. I love sharing all these about all these classic movies and great movies and TV series. I have a blast doing this and I hope that comes across in all of these videos I put out here on my channel. I do hope you enjoyed this today. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.